Hi, this is Deniz here. I'm the lead product manager for Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics. In this session, I will cover Golden Gate's Databricks capabilities. Okay, let's start with an overview of Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics. Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics is a single Golden Gate product package that you can use for your strategic use cases. You can ingest real-time data into data fabric environments, into Delta Lakes, into NoSQL data stores, and into event messaging platforms. You can also capture change data from NoSQL data stores and from message streaming platforms. Using Golden Gate data streams, you can create async API pops up channels to make change data available in JSON format for your developers. In this session, we will focus on real-time data ingestion to Databricks Delta Lakes. Data Fabric replication has been the most common use case for Golden Gate customers. There are many customers already using Golden Gate for Delta Lake ingestions. The same customers used Golden Gate for ingesting messages into Delta Lakes through Kafka or through cloud storage services. In case of Kafka, our customers stream change data into Kafka topics using Golden Gate and use sync processes for writing into Delta tables. In case of cloud storage integration, customers load Parquet files into cloud storage services with Golden Gate, uh, like uh, ADLS, and use Spark processes to write into Delta Lakes. These methods require some manual configurations. I left a link on the slide where you can actually hear American Airlines Golden Gate Parquet based Delta Lake ingestion project. With Golden Gate 23 AI, we are introducing a new connector for directly ingesting messages into Databricks Delta Lakes with Golden Gate. Databricks Handler is developed with Stage and Merge Dataflow architecture. Golden Gate Databricks Delivery provides unique capabilities for your Delta Lake ingestions. First of all, Golden Gate's native integration with Oracle Database using Golden Gate API provides the highest performance and reliability when it comes to change data capture from Oracle databases. Remember, most of the time your target ingestion is as good as your change data capture capacity. Golden Gate also provides high throughputs for Databricks replication with its stage and merge design. Using Golden Gate Databricks handler, you can also run your initial loss into Delta Lakes and sync it with CDC replication. Now, let's have a closer look at the stage and merge data flow design. Stage and Merge is a real-time micro-batch process where you can control the batch windows based on your requirements. Stage and Merge provides the highest throughput with the minimum impact on target systems. There are three main steps in Stage and Merge data flow. As the very first step, Golden Gate runs an operation aggregation. In this step, inserts, updates, deletes are happening on the same record, are merged and compressed into a single operation. For example, if there is one insert followed by five updates, it will become a single insert into target. And at the end of the aggregation, generated auto files will be loaded into target storage services, which is used as a temporary staging location. By default, stage window is set to three minutes. Golden Gate provides additional settings to change default three minutes batch windows to higher or lower values. If you want better performance and higher throughput, you can set it to a higher value. If you need lower latencies, you can configure to a lower value. At the last step, Golden Gate writes the uh, data into target delta tables using Merge SQL from Databricks engines. You can use Golden Gate Databricks replication targeting uh, Databricks workspaces with or without Unity catalogs. During our demonstration, I'll be using a Databricks workspace enabled with Unity catalog. Golden Gate provides the highest level of security for Golden Gate Databricks replication. You can securely store your credentials using wallets and encrypt Golden Gate trail files. Traffic between Golden Gate and Databricks will also be encrypted. You can also secure your Golden Gate deployments using certificates. Golden Gate provides flexible deployment options. You can run Golden Gate in your data centers or you can run Golden Gate on a compute instance on a cloud service or you can simply mix them. You can run your source deployment close to source system and target deployment on cloud close to your Databricks workspace. Golden Gate also supports connections to private Databricks workspaces using private links for the highest security. 
Creating Golden Gate ingestion is very straightforward. You need to complete the prerequisites based on your Databricks workspace configuration and download Databricks dependencies using Golden Gate dependency downloader utility. And then you can configure your application in a few easy steps. I believe that action speaks louder than words. Now let's see Golden Gate Databricks handler in action. This is our demo flow. I have a Python code which represents an online shopping application as source system. Online shopping application writes operations into four different tables in an OCI autonomous database. There's a Golden Gate extract process running on OCI that captures change the data events from the same tables on the OCI autonomous database. I also have Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics deployment running on an Azure Compute instance. This deployment receives the change data events from source uh, Golden Gate ex extract and writes them into Databricks data tables stored in ADLS. Now let's review the flow and run the demonstration. Okay, so right now we are in my OCI environment and within my OCI environment I'm actually using a code editor. So here I have my source application that I was mentioning and it is named online shopping. It creates actually a couple of files and also runs some insert update delete statements into my autonomous database environments. And actually it creates uh, four different tables uh, actually uh, within my autonomous database uh, environment. And this is my autonomous database environment that I'm using as a source. And within this environment, I have this schema called SRCOCIGGLL. And right now if I just like refresh, you can see there are no tables available within this uh, schema. So those tables are going to be created by the source application. And also that source application is going to run the insert update delete operations. And I also have an extract process running in uh, OCI Golden Gate. So OCI Golden Gate is fully managed by Oracle. So it is running on OCI and it is actually close to my source autonomous database environment. And if I actually just click on the details of the um, uh, autonomous uh, extract, we can check the mapping uh, quickly. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it is listening to this SRCOCI GGL schema that I was showing to you, and it will capture all the change data coming into this uh, schema. And it will write them into a trail file called uh, DM. So this is my extract change data capture uh, process. And on the target side, I'm running Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics uh, environment. And this is actually running on a compute node on uh, Azure, Azure instance. So I'm keeping my target deployment, target Golden Gate uh, DA deployment close to my Databricks environment to avoid uh, latency. So the first thing that I want to show you is here I have a target initiated path and here I have a target initiated path uh, created and what it does is it helps me uh, uh, getting the trail files from my source deployment into my uh, target deployment. So into here, into this distributed applications analytics uh, deployment so that I can use the same trail file for my Databricks uh, replication. And finally, I have my Databricks uh, replication process, which I already configured and um, started uh, running. But quickly, we can have a look at that. So uh, the first thing that I want to check is actually uh, the mapping. So as you can see, I'm mapping all the tables coming from SRCOCIGGLL source schema into my target Databricks environment. And into my in my target Databricks environment, I have this catalog called uh, GG demo, and within that catalog, I have a schema called SRCOCIGG, and all the tables coming from SRCOCIGGL will be mapped into this uh, schema, and those tables will be also auto created by uh, Golden Gate replication process. And these are the properties um, that I configured. So, as you can see, for the all usernames and passwords here, I'm using uh, credential store entries not to uh, share the uh, usernames and passwords in clear text in the replication uh, properties. And I also configured the file role interval to five seconds. So this is actually how you can check the, uh, how you can change the batch window that I want, that I was mentioning. 
and by default it is set to three minutes but uh, for the demonstration i actually want to see the data uh, as soon as possible so i just set it to uh, five seconds for the sake of the demonstration okay so this is my uh, replication process and this is my finally target databricks environment as i said i have a catalog here called gg demo and within that catalog i have a schema called SRSOCIGG. and currently as you can see there are no uh, tables uh, here and I also prepared a couple of uh, like a Spark commands just to run uh, like a select count after tables are created within uh, Databricks by Golden Gate so we can do some uh, source target uh, count comparison. Okay, so now we are going back to square one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my source application. It will take a couple of seconds for the source application to be completed uh, successfully and completely. So in the meantime, it is creating the tables, running the inserts, updates and deletes. And perfect, uh, successfully it is uh, completed. So now what I will do is first I will get into my <coughs> autonomous database environment and check the schema here. So let me refresh it first. Okay, perfect. Uh, tables are here. I also have account for this table so let's run them okay so with all the inserts deletes and updates uh, there are 47 row counts in each table so now we will go to the next step which is the extract process i will get into the extract click on statistics okay perfect so here i can see the uh, inserts deletes and update um, uh, details so i have 15 inserts a couple of updates and a couple of deletes for each table and these will be replicated into my target uh, databricks uh, environment uh, as well so coming to my replication process so this is my replicate it is running uh, let's get into the details let's get the statistics and perfect i can see the same here so my databricks replication sent 15 serps couple of updates and couple of deletes into my target uh, databricks uh, environment so now i'm coming to my catalog refreshing here and i can see the actually uh, the tables uh, being uh, created by uh, golden gate and coming to my count uh, let's run all Okay, so for the orders, I have 47. For the payments, I have 47. For the customers, I have 47. And for the products, I have uh, 47 as well. So this is Golden Gate Databricks replication in action. If you have any questions, if you want to have a deep dive session, please feel free to contact your uh, Oracle representative and we would be happy to address your questions and address your uh, requirements. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this demonstration. Thank you.